Good morning. We have been talking about equivalent fractions. Yeah, we've done some example questions. Um, fractions that are the same, that are equivalent. But really important as well is that you are able to simplify fractions. Okay, And it's similar to equivalent fractions, so make sure you've seen those videos before you do this one. Um, but simplifying fractions is basically the other way around. Yeah? But these are also equivalent fractions. I'll show you in a minute. Why is it so important? Why is it crucial that you can do this? Because all your final answers, which are fractions, you've got to simplify it always. And if you don't, you lose points. Yeah? So you've done everything correctly. You've, yeah, you've done everything correctly. You forget to simplify in the end, you lose points. Oh, it's so, so frustrating. Okay? So make sure you're able to simplify fractions. What are we talking about? Let's say I have, uh, well, let's do 8 over 12. Okay, 8 over 12. Let's say that's my final answer. Now, we've been talking about equivalent fractions. Yeah, so for instance, what would be equivalent is the fraction um, 16 over 24. Yeah, because that is a factor 2. Yeah, you multiply both by a factor 2. But simplifying is the other way around. I have to give my fraction its simplest form, which means I gotta take out the common factor. Now, by which number can I divide both of them by? Yeah. Now, um, for instance, by two. Yeah. Because what is eight? Eight is four times two, and twelve is six times two. So they share the factor two. Yeah. They're both even, so they share the factor two. I have to get rid of that common factor. 2. So 8 over 12 is actually equivalent, is equal to 4 over 6. Yeah? But 4 over 6, is that the simplest form you can write this fraction in? No, it's not, because there still is a common factor. Because 4 is the same as 2 times 2, and 6 is the same as 3 times 2. So they share another factor, 2, which I have to get rid of. Now it says 2 over 3. Do 2 and 3, and do the numerator and the denominator share another factor? No, 2 over 3. So I took out now the highest common factor, because that is what simplifying fractions is all about, is taking out the highest common factor. Now I do that in steps, divide by 2, yeah, take out 2 again. But perhaps you are a little bit smarter than I am, and you would have seen, or perhaps you saw, well, 8 over 12, they share a factor of 4. So you take out the factor of 4 straight away because you say, well, 8 is 2 times 4, and you see that, and 12 is 3 times 4. So I take out the common factor of 4, so the simplest form I can write this fraction in is 2 over 3. Well, it's fantastic if you are able to do that in one step, yeah? but it's equally fantastic if you do that step by step like I do, yeah? It's fine, it doesn't matter, okay? But to simplify a fraction, you have to get rid of the highest common factor. Now, if numerator and denominator are even, you know for sure you can get a factor two out, yeah? That's what you have to find out every time. Okay, let's have a look at a few more example questions in the next video. See you there.